Yo, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Mint Twizzard here and as you guys can see we're on Black Ops Cold War. It just released today and I'm gonna bring you guys the best settings for low end PCs. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Let's get right into it. So once you're in the graphics tab, the first thing you want to do is make sure you're playing on full screen. This will allow your game to run a lot smoother and give you the most frames possible. And make sure your refresh rate is what the refresh rate of your monitor is. Most people have 60 hertz, some people have 120 and I have a 144. So it just depends on what your monitor is. Just make sure you select the hertz that your monitor is and you want to disable gameplay vsync. You also want to disable menu vsync. This will allow your game to run a lot more smoother as well. And the render resolution, make sure you'd play on what your monitor is. Most people have a 1080p monitor, so this is perfectly fine. And if you guys can always change this to uh, below 100, but just make sure that your game is running fine on 100. And if it's not, you can always put it down, but this will make your game look worse the lower you go. So, but you should be fine if you put everything else the way I tell you to right now. So aspect ratio, just leave it automatic. And your field of view, this is also your preference. Uh, basically, if most people play on 100, close to 100, 105, the cons console F uh, field of view is 80. And most people play 105, 100, and I usually like to play 120. This is all depending on you. So just select whatever you like and the ADS field of view I play on affected basically affected is once you ADS your screen is going to zoom in so you get to see the target better but if you guys like independent which won't zoom in so your gun's going to stay the same distance so this is just up to you whatever you like it's not going to affect your performance of the game at all and the frame rate, uh, frame rate limit make sure you put it on custom and the gameplay custom limit i put it on 141 because so basically what you want to do is put the limit three below your monitor's refresh rate so because if you the cap usually goes above so as you can see i capped it at 60 and i'm getting 161 162 so this is if you put, i put it on 141 i'm gonna get 144 143 in the game and the menu uh, frame rate you want to just leave it at 60 since you're not really doing that much and this saves uh, your computer from overheating and then moving on to texture quality this is the one of the only most uh, important categories this will uh, this is the one that will make your game look good or bad and I just leave it on medium because this gives me like the highest frames and my game doesn't really look that bad but if your computer can't handle medium you can always go down to low or the lowest and the model quality everything else after this I have it disabled or on low because everything else doesn't really matter that much. Your game's still going to look good even if it's disabled or low. So I put this on low. I put the uh, effects on medium because that's the lowest uh, option. I disable this. I disable the view distance or put it on low. And then as you can see everything else is low or disabled. Ray tracing you definitely want to disable if your PC can has the option to enable it. Because this will take a lot of frame rate away from you and then anti-aliasing this will also affect your performance as well and uh, but my computer can handle medium so i can put it on medium but if you guys computer can't handle medium you can go to the lowest setting or even disable it but your game might look a little bad St well not too bad just a little worse but this just depends on your computer. So just play around with this setting <coughs> and see what you get. And then everything else you want to disable. Motion blur, you definitely want to put it on low. And disable that, disable that. And the VRAM usage, this also depends on your computer. Uh, I would just leave it at default. But if your game is running smooth at default, you can always try to put it at high. And your, your performance will go even better. 
So this just depends on your computer guys, but this is general, just generally the layout you want to go with. All these uh, settings in between you want to disable for sure. The one you should be looking at to make, if you want your game to look somewhat good, this is the setting you should be looking at. And everything else you just want to disable and you'll get uh, nice frames. Your frames will definitely go up. So that's all for me today guys. I hope you guys this helped you guys out and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and make sure you like the video and that's all for me later guys.